Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development as we begin working on our mini game uh, game. Uh, today we're going to begin actually making the mini game script um, and we'll be going over these three new things in the uh, explorer here and that's actually what we're going to do first is replicated storage, server script service, and server storage. So historically speaking on Roblox, people have used the lighting as a place to store everything, such as the light and the shop products even, that is not supposed to be in the workspace, but that people plan on cloning and putting into other objects, such as the workspace. Well, Roblox got tired of this and made us replicated storage and server storage to replace lighting. Now, here's the difference between replicated storage and server storage. Server storage, everything you put on there will be stored on the Roblox server, meaning every script, regular script like this, um, this could access the replicated or the server storage because those scripts, the regular scripts, run on the server. However, they also gave us replicated storage, which means everything in replicated storage is in the server and on individual clients machines meaning local scripts can access things in replicated storage however that could create lag if you put too much in there so it's better to use server storage if you don't need to access it through a local script there is also server script service which we'll be using today and server script service is where you should probably put all of your scripts that don't need to run locally on players machines that basically any script that does not have to be inside a certain object but you would put it just directly in the workspace if it doesn't need to be in a certain object you can put it in the replicated storage and or sorry the server script service not replicated storage you can put in the server script service and it'll run much more efficiently and much more and it's also much better for um organization um, if you put it in there. So what we're going to do today is after I change these tools settings and again of course I change the uh, size of this font to 20 yeah that's fine. We're gonna go to server script service um, and we're gonna insert a script which by the way guys if you look at basic objects when you have server script service highlighted you can't put anything in there but a script so it's really pretty easy. Um, and we're actually going to go to place one real quick and we're going to go to workspace and cut this leaderboard giveness, paste it into server script service, and then we're going to name this mini game control script. All right, so now that you guys have a bit of a better idea as to how the server script service works, we're just going to test it now. Uh, to see if the leaderboard still works when we put that script in there. By the way, I asked a question on the uh, Roblox forum, scripting helpers forum, about these three things. And Scripton, super famous, super awesome scripter, replied um, and confirmed that everything I had said was correct. So I'm pretty sure it should work just fine. Um, but I pressed the wrong button, didn't I? Yes, I did. You need to press F7. I must have pressed F6 uh, by accident. So now we'll press F7. Yes, yes, yes. It can, it can do anything. I don't care. And now Alt F7. Okay. There we go. We've got wins and we've got points. So it still works. Um, the shop still works. Everything is still working. So we can now close this. And now close the server. And get back to our mini game control script. Um, it's already been f six and eh, five minutes. Okay, we'll go through with this. How does a mini game work? Mini game places, a quick definition of this, is a game where there's a lobby that players can be in um, in between mini games, and then every like 30 seconds or so, uh, a mini game begins. It's randomly selected. A random map is generated. Sometimes mini game places. Every mini game has its own map. 
Um, that might be the case with ours, I'm not sure. Anyway, so the mini games are randomly selected, and then once the mini game is randomly selected, um, the game begins. And the, the clap to start a new mini game does not continue until that mini game is over. So once the mini game is over, then it restarts itself and goes through the loop again. So how do you make a loop that never ends? Hmm? Well, you do that with a while true do loop. Um, while true do end, and we're just going to insert the word wait or the freight function call wait one. Okay, so it's going to wait one second, and that means this loop will run once every second, except when another mini game is going. Right now, we're not going to actually select the mini games or even start a mini game. We're just going to go through how this might work. And then we're going to comment select random mini game here. Select or er, um, announce mini game here. Um, do any or er, run a mini game here and restart. So there we go. Those are the four steps. First you select your random minigame. Then you announce what minigame will be played. Then you run the minigame, which will be our own little function or something. And then you restart the entire uh, script, or the entire loop, and go through it again. So that's all we're going to do today. I got, went over server script service and stuff, which is the main thing. Um, I'll try to get another video out later today. Maybe, maybe if I don't, I'll try to get two out tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, but there you go, guys. That's that's it um, for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.